Hello everyone. Welcome to my podcast The Hidden Power. I'm your host Dr. Susan Kurth, life psychologist and mind wellness coach. We are learning a lot of things through this Hidden Power podcast. And today I'm going to talk about mindset. And especially in mindset, I'm going to talk about the possibility mindset. Mindset is everything for a person. Your mindset decides the nature of your life, the success or the I would say the path, the nature, um how you live your life, how you feel about it. Everything is based on your mindset. You can have two types of mindset here. I'm talking about the possibility mindset and the impossibility mindset. as the you know you the word possibility and the word impossibility you know you hear you understand what it means and i'll just explain more about uh, the mindset and how this mindset leads you to in different directions of your life in the possibility mindset um when you have this type of mindset it leads you to abundance and uh the impossibility mindset leads you to scarcity to have a possibility mindset you need some goals in life so in the possibility mindset you have some vision or you have some goals to achieve some objectives to achieve so that the possibility at, at least you can think about possibilities whereas in the impossibility mindset you always think about lack um what is that i am lacking so uh, even if you wanted to set a goal that will stop you from setting that goal you think that you don't have enough to set a goal and achieve a goal and when you um uh, look at the benefits of the possibility mindset um we can discuss it in more detail um when you uh possess this mindset your thinking goes in uh, in a particular way so um the possibility mindset will create a possibility thinking in you so the possibility mindset leads to possibility thinking and impossibility mindset of course it leads to impossibility thinking now in the possibility thinking you only look at what is possible what are the resources available what are the skill set that i have what are my um, you know abilities and talents and you know how i can make things possible for my life in the impossibility thinking you will be looking at what is lacking in achieving something and you know uh, you know even if i have something oh no i'm not having enough to get something so every time you will be worried okay a worry some thinking i would say in the possibility thinking you will have a merry some thinking you know you are you are happy you are um you know having a satisfaction you have a confidence in you but in the impossibility thinking it is all everything is the opposite okay so you will have more worries in impossibility thinking now both impossibility and possibility thinking leads to a result oriented thinking what is result oriented thinking there should be some result okay so uh, you know there is an action happening or there is no action happening but there will be a consequence of whatever it is if i don't do an action also there will be consequences definitely in life so when you are, when you are having a possibility thinking it leads to success oriented thinking that means the success oriented thinking will bring success and happiness in you so let's see how this happens so pod- possibility thinking leads to a success oriented thinking as a result it leads to an action oriented thinking right so in the action oriented thinking you will experience motivation growth or progress development learning experience 
you have a self efficacy your self esteem is at the high you you enjoy confidence you have joy freedom value credibility satisfaction purpose positivity so much of energy so much of enthusiasm and everything is so good for you so you experience all these things because the possibility mindset leads to possibility thinking which gets into a result oriented thinking that leads you to a success oriented thinking and that leads to a action oriented thinking so um when uh you have an impossibility thinking let's see what happens when you are having an impossibility thinking that leads to failure oriented thinking which leads to failure and suffering okay so the failure oriented thinking is leading you to no action there is nothing happens no action happens there so there will be no action and you will easily giving up everything you know like something is there you know that some opportunities are coming it is visible to you and you see okay how i will not take this opportunity how much difficult it for me to uh, you know absorb this opportunity and act in the right manner so you'll be looking at oh i may not have this i may not have this i may not have that so now if um you know it's in in every area you can see this you know like maybe you are doing a further studies or you have a promotion i have when i worked with senior manager promotion uh, promotion um area where some people are ready uh, you know having a fear of promotions so you, you have you heard about that fear of promotions yes there are people who are really scared you know like will i be able to manage this will i be able to you know deliver the responsibilities well sometimes i get um, you know like people who are consider for senior promotions are they are very scared of that promotion and in that if i sit with them it amazes me they are such a talented people they have very good education background they are very experienced they have everything to get that particular promotion but they have an attitude which is an impossibility attitude that comes from an impossibility mindset and they always look at what will not work what is that i am lacking so when you are looking at what is that you are lacking you are slowly putting a cover or uh, on things that you possess because that would be when you compare with the lacking and when what you have in your you know within yourselves and you know like what you possess is it has got you know like your possession or what you have is so high it's so huge but you don't even know you don't even feel it because you are so focused so concentrating on what is that i am lacking so that that is what most of the people face when it comes to success so success attitude start with your mindset so in the impossibility thinking as we said um you know like it is um, a thinking that is based on lack thinking and which leads to failure oriented thinking and it leads to failure and suffering there will not be any action and you easily give up as a result you will experience lack of motivation you say i am not motivated um i am so feeling so negative there is no growth you will suffer self sabotage low self confidence no self esteem you will have you will suffer shame you will uh, suffer hurt blame jealousy humiliation guilt lack of respect and you know maybe mostly complaining and whining and you say you are not good enough all the time that f- the feeling of i am not good enough i am not having enough to uh, you know um, live my life or reach my goals and basically because of you are having this lack thinking you will will not set your goals right so um when you look at this possibility thinking and impossibility thinking possibility mindset and impossibility mindset to be can understand that everything starts from your mindset and when you have a particular mindset your thinking your actions goes in that direction so therefore you need to always look at your mindset and see that your mindset is right to get what you want in your life in alignment with what you want in your life if you have a lack mindset you will experience scarcity in life 
in life, in every area of your life. And if you have an abundance mindset, you will experience surplus in life. When things go off the road, please get your mindset checked and corrected. Because everything starts from mindset. And I would um, uh, tell you that, you know, when you are checking your mindset, if you think that there is an impossibly mindset working some areas, maybe when you are looking at your uh, different uh, phases and areas of life, like your personal, your marriage, your family, your career, your economic, your spiritual, your social, all areas, if you like some areas, you may have a possibility mindset and some areas lacking the possibility mindset. And that is why, you know, you may be having a problem in those areas. You know, when you have success in one area, the other is here, area is lacking. Just check your mindset, whether mindset is right. And where if you are thinking there is a correction is required, please make sure that the correction is done because the possibility mindset leads you to success in every area of your life. And it gives you contentment, peace, happiness, uh, joy, freedom, confidence, success, uh, a purpose in life and, you know, um, a relaxed mind. And everything is possible if you have a possibility mindset. Um, the Hidden Power podcast is filled with all these kinds of uh, wisdom to lead your life uh, properly and happy. And if there is any correction is required, you will be able to correct that. So listening to Hidden Power podcast can make your personal transformation easy and flawless. Hope you enjoyed today's message. This is your host, Dr. Susan Kaurit. I will see you in the next episode. Until then, live well and laugh more. May God bless us all.